Wendy, thanks for joining us today. One of the questions we've been having on our air all week, especially after we saw that brief inversion of the two and ten years in the yield curve uh, earlier this week, is, is whether the risk of recession is rising. Your take on that? Yeah, I, I don't think the risk of recession is rising. I don't think it's really very viable right now. The uh, uh, GDP was, you know, 2.1 percent in Q1. Uh, the Atlanta Fed uh, model has it at 2.2 percent coming into Q2. Now, we'd like it to be better than that, but those aren't recessionary numbers. Uh, consumer spending, which accounts for two-thirds of GDP, is up. Government spending, which accounts for about 18 percent, is up. The export net exports have improved over last year, so that's a plus. Uh, business investment was down in first and second quarter, uh, and that could be influenced by what's going on with China. Uh, could be interest. It could be influenced by um, uh, just a, 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 a matter of timing. So we'll see how Q3 comes out. But I, I don't. I really don't see that we're heading towards a recession anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Andy, you, you penned an op-ed on uh, August 5th. It was including in the title that said the president knows surrender isn't a winning strategy, uh, talking about the uh, China trade war. So why has he gone ahead and, and surrendered? Why has he delayed this latest round of tariffs? Well, I think the president uh, met with business leaders who said, look, we have not uh, seen an impact of pricing for consumers to date. But if you go to these 25 percent tariffs, it could have an impact. Uh, does it make sense to do that before Christmas? Why not wait? Uh, let's get through the shopping season. Consumer confidence is up. Consumer spending is up. Uh, let's just wait and see. And I think the president thought that was a, a good but, argument, so he decided but, to wait. I don't think he's surrendering. He still put a 25% given, tariff on a third of the uh, items that he was talking about increasing tariffs on. But given your, the content of your op-ed on August 5th, would you have rather he held firm on those and just uh, stubborn it out? No, I, I don't. Look, this is not a, a war we're going to win in one battle. It's not a war we're going to win in a hurry. Uh, it's uh, we need to keep the pressure on the Chinese, knowing that these tariffs are coming, uh, that that the president will live up to what he says on tariffs, uh, despite the political consequences, is important. And I want. I hope the Chinese realize that. And if they do, I think we'll come to an agreement probably next year. But I, no, I, I don't. I really don't have a problem with this. There's there. This seemed to be a rational decision based on. Uh, on uh, economic growth models and what the business community was advising him. The, the phrase you just used, Andy, despite the political, political consequences, I think is a key one because there's a lot of focus on these U.S.-China trade talks uh, and, and a lot of folks have come on our air and said that they believe that a deal, some sort of deal, needs to get done by 2020 before the election. Do you think the administration is thinking about it that way? No, I, I don't. Uh, I don't think that's the way this president thinks about um, about what's in the best interest of the country. I don't think he, he aligns what's in the best interest of the country with what's in his immediate best political interest. I think he, he looks to what will really be the long-term benefits. And I, I do have to say, I, you know, this, the, trade, uh, the trade war with China, this tough stance with China, there, there, there is disagreement about what we should be doing among the political parties. But I would say if there's one thing where the parties seem to be coming together, it's on the fact that we need to be tougher on China. Uh, now, it's, uh, it's a presidential election year, so I think it's hard for the Democrats to be too supportive of the president. But I don't see him as big opponents to the president on this either. I think people realize we need, that we need to solve this problem with China. They are stealing from us. They are dealing unfairly uh, with the world community and the United States when it comes to trade. So I, I, this happens to be one bipartisan thing that's sort of a, a ray of light out there. Andy Puzda, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. My pleasure.